The positivity rate in San Antonio when it comes to COVID-19, just over 3% at the beginning of this month. Now, towards the end of this month, we are over 13%. Today, as we reported, we heard from city leaders, uh, those in the healthcare field joining together to urge more people to get vaccinated. We're joined now by San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg. And I just I want to start with with why now, because it's certainly been a while since we have seen uh, leaders like yourself, the judge, the county judge come together and talk about COVID-19. So what is it about where we are at this point in the pandemic that brought you all to share this message today? Well, there's a few reasons, Myra. Most specifically, we wanted to address uh, some of the context of what people are seeing in terms of the increasing numbers of infections and number of hospitalizations. Uh, as was as has been stated uh, often, this is a pandemic now among the unvaccinated. But it is true, uh, the rise in hospitalizations and infections are concerning. And that is, we're reaching a fork in the road, really about our ability to um, protect those of us who are not able to get vaccinated because they're not eligible. And I'm talking specifically about children in our community. Uh, we all want uh, schools to, to be healthy, safe places to be. And that is gonna require all of us who are eligible to be vaccinated to go ahead and do it because we have seen the Delta virus, uh, the Delta variant of the virus spread rapidly. It is now the predominant strain of the virus in our uh, in our nation, and it's much more infectious, it's more dangerous, and it is afflicting those uh, primarily who are unvaccinated, but it is also causing breakthrough infections that are thankfully much more mild. What that means is that the, um, that the ability for the virus to find those who are unvaccinated is much higher. Uh, and so if you are unvaccinated and you are not being careful about that, you're out in the community and not wearing a mask if you're unvaccinated, the virus will find you and it's going to be dangerous and it will likely be severe and, 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 and much more likely to be fatal. You, you bring up something that I've noticed not only in the news conference that you had today, but also uh, in other national news conferences, concern about children who were too young to get vaccinated, but can still right. get be sick. I mean, we had Dr. Tess Barton from University uh, from UT Health San Antonio in here yesterday saying there are young children in San Antonio hospitals right now. So the thought that this isn't affecting the very young is kind of going by the wayside with the Delta variant. Am I correct in that? Uh, it is, uh, but we are thankful that uh, younger folks do still seem to have less severe uh, reactions to the virus, but the Delta virus or the Delta variant is still much more infectious. It's also dangerous for those people who, you know, might think they're invincible. So 20 to 39 year olds are coming up more ill, uh, more often being infected and going into the hospitals. The other thing I would say is that, uh, again, maybe maybe uh, none of that appeals to you in terms of the reasons to get vaccinated. We know there's a tremendous amount of disinformation out there, a lot of it proliferating on social media. Please follow the science. The guidance of medical professionals says that this is our best defense. This is our last line of defense on this virus. And it's very important for people to get vaccinated. It's high. It's widely available. It is safe and we need you to get it. The other thing I would mention is that um, we, we want things to continue to open up. They are opened up. Uh, we've got to make sure that we are protecting those among us who are not able to get vaccinated. You know, there's been a lot of concern at this point in the pandemic, a lot of conversation about the divide between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated in this country, in this community. Do you think that there is more the city can do to try to persuade people who have not gotten the shot yet? Or in your mind, is it at this point just up to people to make that decision for themselves? Well, so here's what I will tell you after years of working in um, local communities all across this country, uh, primarily working with young people and, and teaching kids about how local government works. What we have found in studies, study after study, regardless of the subject matter, is that it is peers, your peer group that influences your behavior, particularly on whether or not you want to go go out and vote your peer group will influence that decision. So what we're appealing to is if you have someone in your social circle who still is concerned about the virus, who um, maybe is fearful 
or uh, or just frankly is is um, upset about being told that a virus that the, the, the vaccine is is important, please reach out to them. If there is somebody in your social circle or family member or family member that just doesn't want to get the vaccine, please let them know how important it is that there are other people in this community that are depending on them to make the right choice. And ultimately, we're tired of hearing the stories of people who are on their last breaths intubated who said they would like to get a vaccine, but it is just simply too late. Do it. Um, there, are, there is a reason why um, other serious illnesses are no longer part of our, our, our um, community anymore. Things like polio are, have been eradicated for years because people got vaccinated globally. This is another one of those things. We don't want it to linger any longer. We've got to reach those who have been, not been vaccinated in order to protect all of us. When it comes to obviously mask mandates are not going to happen because the governor has said that they can't happen. Are the, is the city looking at ways to mitigate what is ha what everybody is saying is a surge? They said in the news conference today we are in a surge right now. Are there things the city is looking at doing, even if it's a volunteer asking more businesses to require masks, asking some schools to make masks available in plexiglass? I mean, are there things that you're yeah. looking at right now? Yes, we're going to be getting together with uh, our, our school leaders. We're also talking with um, members of the business community. And, and, and the truth of the matter is, if you are a business, if you own a business, you can uh, determine how uh, your protocols work. It is true. There is no more state mandated um, mask rule. Uh, but the CDC guidance has been and, and continues to be. If you are unvaccinated, you should wear a mask. And that is uh, it doesn't matter where you are. If you're unvaccinated, you should continue to wear a mask. So that is the guidance that we're putting out. And that includes schools. Uh, if, if children have not been vaccinated yet, the CDC guidance recommends that they continue to wear masks and, 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 and that is still the right thing to do until we can get the, the community vaccinated. And again, the first step in all of this is to make sure that people know it is readily available. They can go get it. If you have not been vaccinated, this is a pandemic among those who have been not, not been vaccinated. So if you haven't been vaccinated, there is one waiting for you. Please go get it. In several different locations all around town. I know we have a list on our website right now of all the pop up clinics, all the opportunities that are, that are available for this vaccine. And, and Myra, if I can add one more thing, you asked me uh, some, what is the city doing? We are putting out that information. So there is a broad stroke public information campaign out there right now to make sure that there is that information in multiple languages about how you can go get one. So please look out for it and give it to someone you know who doesn't have it. Mayor Ron Nuremberg, always appreciate your time, especially on a Friday night. Uh, thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Sounds good. Have a good weekend, y'all. You as well. We'll be right back.